who are supportive of saying they should be a mandate for people to tell their vaccine status entering a entering a restaurant just to eat or entering a bar, would they also say that same bar that has to mandate people tell their vaccine status to come in, that bar also has to mandate to tell your sexual uh, your sexually transmitted disease status. You have to have a negative a negative heartbeat test, a negative gonorrhea test, a negative uh, like AIDS test before you enter this 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 bar or before you sign up on this uh, dating site because chances are if you're on that site you're going to actually meet with someone and have relations with that person and you can infect them with something that in some cases is definitely there's no treatments for it that we have with some treatments and some vaccines and things like that for the covid some of them are deadly if you give somebody hiv that could lead to aids like that's that's something would people support that kind of structure on a system like that where you're entering a sort of relationship where you're inherently trying to interact with other people that you can infect those other people versus they're supporting people just entering a place in public where you're sitting there with somebody else that you would have been sitting with maybe at home or some other location dealing with somebody else that might be dealt with but you're not actually interacting with them directly so what why is why are some people okay with one but the other but maybe i think that maybe you need to get more of these you need some more evidence of where those lines are drawn for the general for enough of the general population for you to actually think you have to change right well, because I because I thought about this too, because people have defended certain COVID mandates with like, well, it's a spreadable disease and all this, but you could easily apply that to what you're saying. It's like, yes, these are spreadable diseases. You like certain like I know with like herpes and other things. I mean, AIDS you can't see obviously. You know, you could sleep with someone who you think is like clean cut and good, and then you find out they're sick. But it's like you wouldn't know that, and it's like people could say like, well, you chose to sleep with that person, but it's also like you chose to go to a place where there potentially could be people that are carrying COVID. Like there are people that could look perfectly healthy and have COVID and you don't know, but these are all risks that we have to take. And it's like, as you're getting at it, I mean, it's like, what is the standard for policing this stuff and who's in charge of it? I don't want the government to be, I mean, cause then, you know, it's like, then that can be, op- you know, opening the door. Like someone even said, like only vaccinated people should vote. And it was funny. Cause I guess Malice had a thread saying something like you're making, he's like, but you're inadvertently making a case that we've been arguing about. Not everyone should vote. It's like, you're yeah. making the same case just in a different direction. Now. <laughs> yeah. Just that, that could be a positive. I'm, I'm yeah. glad like people, like when people bring those things up, I'm like, I'm not against doing that. I'm against the state mandate from it, but private parties deciding what's done with their property and the private parties deciding if they want to deal with other people's property. I'm not against that being made for any reason, any reason yeah. whatsoever you want to have, any reason as as massive or as minute as you want to have. If somebody's like, I just don't like people whose names start with S, so I'm not going to deal yeah. with anyone in silence. I'm okay with that. But if there's some kind of state where it's saying this is the one that has a monopoly on giving that service in a certain area or is somehow regulating a market where it's enforcing only a few people who have that, where those monopolies have that situation. This is also something we talked about. Like Again, with the projection where I was thinking, okay, monopolies can only exist under the state because the yeah. state has certain functions that create those monopolies to exist yeah. within it. But nature itself is a free market. So the state also exists in nature so since monopolies can't really exist in nature, the monopoly itself, the state monopoly itself, doesn't have something above it maintaining it. So due to its largesse, it's going to grow to a certain size, but eventually it's going to drop because it's unnatural. It does, goes against the general nature of evolution and then the nature of reality. So that will crumble. Just how states, that's how smaller mon- mon- monopolies without the unnatural environment that the state creates can't exist. But since the state itself is an unnatural thing, it also can't exist in nature. So that will eventually crumble. And I think this this actually might be the way it crumbles yeah. in, in many places in the world. Because people, the people who trusted it the most have been now left, let down the most by that system. Yeah. And I, 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 some people won't admit to this, but if somebody was able to be honest, and it's very hard to lie to yourself, this... I think the people who are let down the most, very few people can truly sit there and think of the structures that they thought were responsible for running the society that they lived in, truly handle this in a positive, effective way. And people are intelligent enough to know that things could be a lot worse. Like the issue at hand could be a lot worse and will likely be in the future. And I, I don't think people can, people might say the words, but I, I don't think they, they can truly think that. And, and well, again, my heart goes out to those people because it's a dark time. I remember when I started realizing yeah. it was really how 
how this minuscule, how hair's breadth society is hanging on. How I used to think like, yeah, humans have done so much, like we have these structures and like, no, we actually like this. This is just like, like to me, one of the things, like the, the only the only thing scarier than any conspiracy theory is that there is no conspiracy theory. Mm-hmm. That this is just the way we've just happened to do it through certain choices and decisions. Something happened, Hitler ended up to make a mistake and decided to take on Russia instead of just taking over Europe first. The Japanese were like, yeah, yeah, let's get those Americans in. If there was one person different, if one official hadn't been born and hadn't married this person, gone to this place and done this other thing, they wouldn't have the, the main person who made that decision to bomb Pearl Harbor might have been someone else and be like, let's not do that. And then America could have stayed out. If America stayed out of the war, I think the Germans would have won. How different would the world have been in, in that kind of reality? We'd probably have more of a global thing where it's outright fascist for part of the world and outright communist, like full on like Chinese, like what we're seeing in China right now. Like what would America be? Would America have more, be more secluded and been more libertarian, more liberty? Or would they have been infected and taken over slowly by slowly because they were feeding these machines? They were, they were, they were the factory. Would America be in the position of kind of like China being the factory of the world Whereas those other people are more like powerful and influential and getting their ideology instead of the American ideology with that uniqueness of um, the freedom of information and showing the benefits that come from that. Like it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's odd. And I don't think I'd have been able to really entertain these thoughts if not for this unprecedented thing or the pandemic to just really put a pause on thing and really make me start focusing on certain things and the possibilities of certain things happening and, in, in, in that sense, I think it's, to me, like, as I mentioned, these last 18 months have had issues. I've been lucky enough to not lose anyone directly in my life to this disease. Um, I, I know people that have been affected in, in various ways on it. So for me, it's been more of a, I've tried to take advantage of this general crisis to the world. And, and I think it's been positive. And I think many other people can do that despite the negative things that have, that have happened, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't have much to add to that. I mean, it's like, like I say, I hope there's backlash. I think there will be, you know, I've made the comment recently how I think there are people who would lock down until the end of time if the government told them to. But I think in reality, that's probably a handful of people because it's like, like I say, I mean, even these left leaning people are running to restaurants are getting fed up. So even they're like, it, it's, it's, it's when it's obvious that the government doesn't know what's going on and they're less and less competent. Their trust is only decline. It's like there are people like Sam Harris who will say we have to trust them no matter what. But <laughs> I think, but I think, I think that's becoming fewer and fewer people. Thank you for listening. This has been a clip from an actual longer recording that I'll try to leave a link to on the screen or somewhere around here where you're listening to this. Pendants. <laughs> Pendants. 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 Peasants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay.